Hello, everyone. Let me begin by saying a big thank you to the Garden State Council and Patrick Linfors for the invitation to be with you virtually to celebrate both scouting and our military. This is a program to thank donors and community leaders for the support to scouting and a wonderful opportunity to hear from local men and women who benefited from their scouting experience and are now volunteering to serve our great nation in uniform. I'll try to comply with the three B's of keynote speaking instilled in me over the years. That is, be brief, be engaging, and be gone. I think that's even more critical for virtual meetings at this point. As a short introduction, I'm Patricia McQuistian. I'm a Lieutenant General, U.S. Army, retired. I served for 35 years in the Army from 1980 until 2015, then retired in Northern Virginia, where I worked the past five years in a nonprofit association that supports the United States Army. Through four decades of personal experience, I know how important it is to have strong community support and to have people outside of organizations like the Army and Scouting to have a better understanding and appreciation for those who serve in uniform, those who volunteer to be part of something larger than themselves, and those who dedicate their best efforts to learning, supporting others, and expanding horizons. I also understand how challenging it is to present important events like this virtually when we'd all like to be together in person. My husband is also retired from the Army. We're the proud parents of two Eagle Scouts and doting grandparents of one Cub Scout so far. We are hoping for more. As a matter of fact, our grandson just participated in his first Pinewood Derby. His favorite part was making the car with his dad and then painting it. He did a really good job. Scouting has been part of our lives from our early years. We were both in Scouts. My mom and my husband were scout leaders, and it's really nice to see it continuing in the newest generation. When I asked Patrick about the purpose of tonight's event, he told me it was a salute. Well, one definition of salute that is a sign, token, or ceremony expressing goodwill, compliments, and respect. A wonderful opportunity to express appreciation for our military and a salute to scouting. I'm happy to do both. Several months ago, I was asked to participate in a task force that the National Headquarters of the Boy Scouts of America was assembling to explore how they could expand scouting to young adults to continue providing opportunities to share the spirit of loyalty, camaraderie, support, and career development using four pillars, service, leadership, mentorship, and fellowship. The most impressive aspect of that task force is that the really hard working pulling together all of the recommendations was done by a wonderful group of young Americans who had great experiences from their scouting days and who are now either in college or the early part of their careers. They committed to understand the intent for such a program. They spent a lot of their personal time formulating ideas, surveying a wide swath of their peers and presenting a cogent set of recommendations for BSA to consider. I spent 40 years in leadership positions with some of the brightest young people in our country I would hold this group up as one of the most organized, professional, collegial, and impactful groups I've seen. That team came together from very diverse backgrounds. The two things they had in common was their love of scouting and an appreciation for the community it forms. I think the evaluation process for the program is still underway, but I hope it comes to life soon. It would be beneficial for so many people starting careers in both military and civilian sectors. While very different organizations with very different missions, scouting and the military do share some essential aspects. There's an old joke that my non-commissioned officers told me when I was a brand new 21-year-old second lieutenant just arrived at my first assignment as a platoon leader in the Army. It went like this. What's the difference between the Boy Scouts and the Army? The answer, of course, was the Scouts have adult leadership. I just smiled when they said that. The ability to laugh at yourself is a good thing, especially when you're starting out. But I've come to realize through the years that leadership has no defined age group. It is much more the factors of circumstances and opportunities presented to people of all ages and their preparation and willingness to take up the mantle. Both our military and scouting are values-based organizations. For the Army, the core values are encapsulated in a mnemonic of leadership. The core values are loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Each of the other services define their own core values. For the BSA, the principles captured in the Scout laws have great overlap. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, 
helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Other shared features between scouting and the military include overcoming new challenges and fears and building confidence in your abilities, learning from failure and trying again until you succeed, embracing new experiences, working as teams and getting the best out of every individual's efforts, leadership and followership. There are certainly other common bonds like learning navigating and survival skills, camping and first aid, but I think it's very important to note that the skills learned in scouting are intended to help prepare you for life, not for a career in the military. A commitment to serve in the military is a separate and distinct decision for young Americans. I would note that scouts succeed in every profession. There are many famous Eagle Scouts, including athletes, politicians, businessmen, astronauts, entertainers, as well as military leaders, who set the stage for a lifetime of success when they were teenagers. In the past, that has included a great list of famous American men, but I have to say that I'm very excited about the fact that this past February, BSA celebrated the first 1,000 young women to achieve Eagle Scout status. Two sisters, Lindsay and Laura Nedro from Pennsylvania were in that group. In several news articles, they talked about what it meant to them. They were pretty emotional about it. Lindsay said, Eagle Scout is so much more than a medal or an award. It's an expectation and a lifestyle. It means that you're a role model to your community every day of your life. Once an Eagle, always an Eagle. Her sister Lauren said, perhaps the biggest reward is leading a troop meeting now for younger girls and seeing them all in the front row. When we were their age, we were sitting in the back corner. It's just surreal and inspirational to see the change that's happened. She also said, everyone that's in Scouts has a little bit of, I wanna change the world in them. I think that's the real message I wanna leave you with for the Scouts themselves, for the dedicated leaders, and for the communities that support them. I read a story the other day about a 92-year-old man who made it a habit to deliver a heartfelt message to everyone who makes a difference in his life, whether family members, friends, or someone who served in a local store. He says to each of them, did anyone tell you how great you are today? I'd like to say that to everyone in the audience gathered for this event, the scouting, business, and community leaders who demonstrate their support to this council through their participation. Your support is so important, making a positive difference in the lives of scouts. It matters. I want you to know how great you are today. Scouting can only thrive if caring individuals provide the resources to support the mission. That mission is to offer character building experiences to prepare young people to be the best leaders today and tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the virtual tour of the Battleship New Jersey and the rest of the program. Thank you so much for allowing me to participate and a special thanks to all the scouts from the Garden State Council who are now serving in America's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and Space Forces. I salute you all.